Okay, hello everybody, happy fall y'all. <laughs> so today is um, October the 14th, 2018, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys. Half the month is over. Um, the days, they go by fast. We did not know that last Sunday night we were talking that the South Georgia, the Florida people were gonna experience hurricane. And so as my aunt would say, a hurricane. <laughs> and so we are so thankful that here in Valdosta, we did not get very much damage, but a lot of people did. And a lot of people that we know, um, just their whole homes, everything was wiped out over at Mexico Beach and some of the Panama City. And then some of our people in Fitzgerald, I know Emily Ray, some of the girls and Janet Sheeted, they, and my, my in-laws, they just got their power turned back on today. So we've had a quite um, a last few days, quite an experience. and. You know, it was kind of funny, like Wednesday, I felt like all I did is sit around and watch the Weather Channel and eat. I felt like Thanksgiving again. And so, <laughs> anyway, um, we're so glad that, um, we're so glad that we're all kind of getting over it. And, but, you know, we just need to pray for those people over there. They got a lot of work to do to get back to normal, especially the ones that actually lived in those areas, not just the vacation homes, but their actual residents. So, anyway, our hearts and prayers go out to all the ones affected by the hurricane. Um, I want to start off tonight by just giving you guys a little bit of a uh, reminders and announcements. Okay. So first of all, we're in the double credit month and, um, double credit means you're going to get double everything you do toward the course. So if you're watching by video, what you see right here, this is the Queens court of sharing, um, diamond and gold bumblebee pin or the bracelet. And then over here is the Queens court of sales. And so um, those are the rings that you would win. So everything you do this month goes in double. So to max it out, just to remind you, if you say, hey, what can I do? Because there is a maximum. Um, the maximum is six new recruits to be doubled. Now you can get 100 new recruits, but only six are gonna be doubled. <laughs> okay, and then the maximum on sales is 2,000 wholesale. So if you did a 3,000 wholesale, um, that's fine. That would normally count 6,000, but they're going to double 2,000 of it. So they're going to give you an extra 4,000 retail credit. So if you do a 2,000 instead of counting 4,000 toward this national quarter sales, it's going to count 8,000. That is huge, you guys. So I know that by probably everyone that maxes it out could at minimum do Princess Court, which is 20,000, and maximum do the National Court and get you a diamond ring. So that's going on to the end of the month. You got two more weeks and some days to finish that. Um, preferred customer program. You know, I know everybody feels like the preferred customer program, like you're like, didn't I just sign up for that? Because during this time they have an extra book in the middle and it's our holiday book that's out right now. But the, the new winter book is going to come out in November. It's going to mail out November the 10th and your customers will get it within seven to 10 days, okay? And you'll be able to order the products on November the 10th if you enroll in the Preferred Customer Program. Um, and if you, or if you were a star consultant this last quarter. Now, I can't tell you what's in the book, but I might just show you the book. Woo, isn't it beautiful? That's all I can show you. Okay, so if you want to <laughs> have your customers get this, Woo beautiful book, then you need to enroll them. It's only 70 cents a name. You just go to in touch, you go to business tools, and then you will see something that says preferred customer program and it, you can enroll your customers. If you've done it before and you haven't added any new customers, which is probably none of y'all, you can just hit enroll your past ones. It's like a quick enroll. Um, but it, it will actually even show you a group of who you enrolled last time and who hadn't been enrolled. Um, and then you may even want to uh, do a group and you just do a tag on every customer that you've enrolled before and you just put PCP or whatever you want to call it and then like for me when I get ready to enroll customers I just say enroll the group and I enroll the whole PCP group because some of my people are maybe in my customer contact but maybe they're not really my customer this somebody that I just had a, a contact you know what I'm saying um, or maybe they haven't bought from me in two or three years but um, <laughs> you know and I may say you know, I don't want to send them a book, but anyway, they're only 70 cents a name. And so you can enroll any amount. You can enroll one person, your mom. Okay. Or you can enroll, you know, hundreds. Um, I will tell you that 
in my unit, the top 10 people are, they always have the most people enrolled because the more customers you have, the more people you're going to sell to. And when your customer gets this particular book in the mail, you are going to get some sales in November, and December. Cause I mean, it's awesome. I can't tell you. I wish I could tell you if you could see right here, you can see all my new stuff, but I can't tell you, but you just won't want to miss the first meeting in November or the first boss babe call in November because we're going to show all and tell all. Okay. <clears throat> the other thing I want to show you is I posted, y'all probably have seen this. It's a holiday gift guide and um, someone came up with it, but it is so nice and it has different gift ideas, 12 days of Christmas, the looks of love. I mean, it's very much like our, our look, but, it, but it's just so nice. And so I, um, I sent an email to the, our Office Max, Office Depot, um, and asked them how much it would cost to print these with our Mary Kay discount. And so first I sent it to them, you can just email it to them, and um, I sent it to them and they said, they said, and I said I wanted it bound like this. And they said $17.51 a piece. I'm like, is that with the discount? So then they email me back. They go, oh, $5.90. Five bucks. And so I printed um, several out. Like I just went ahead and printed 10 out. And so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have some prizes for my unit at the meeting tomorrow night. So it's going to be for people whatever I decide it could be for people who got recruits last week could be people that bring guests to the meeting I don't know who I'm gonna give them to but I have them they're ready but if you would like to I'll send you a link to the copy of this most people have seen this I did not design it but I think it's beautiful um, but I was just gonna tell you and you can order them online and they can even mail them to you you might pay shipping if you don't have an office max or office depot but I think it's very professional what I'm doing with them is I am um, I just put my name um, down here on them, put my label, and then like I went and made a delivery this week to an office, and I said, hey, do you do any gift giving at your office? And um, she said, yeah, do we do some, and I do, of course, personal gifts, because she got a million people that work there. I said, okay, well, I'm going to leave this for you, I said, and I'll pick it up in a couple, like in a week. I said, look through it and see if there's anything in here that you might like to order for gifts for your employees. And um, it's, I mean, it's a lot of choices, but she's a customer of mine, so I knew it wouldn't overwhelm her. Now, if you're talking to a man, you may just put a little sticker and say, I've highlighted, you know, one of the pages that I think would be great, which is, because they can't pick out stuff, honestly. You just have to tell them. But if you have a woman, you know, I think it's a great idea to give it to them. And the other thing is, you could, let's say you book a party, and, um, you could give her this and say, Hey, I'm also going to give you this holiday gift guide. And I want you to, sh you know, kind of pass it around your work, show it to your friends from church and people that can't come to your party. If they'd like to purchase something that'll count towards your party. Okay. So it's just an idea for you. Okay. Um, and of course our look books are only $3 and 50 cents. So that we have the holiday lookbook out right now so definitely you could just use that instead but this just this is just a little bigger it's a little well, I don't know I just like it <laughs> okay so um that's that so you want to do that you want to enroll I, I don't know if I said this but on the preferred customer program I'm back to that for a minute you want to roll that by October the 17th which is I believe like Wednesday okay so don't forget do it today or tomorrow so you don't forget okay um for a holiday strategy for this month, um, if you have not, we showed it at our meeting last week and it was 20 minutes, but honestly, I think it was well worth the time spent and it's the power class of the month. It has a holiday strategy for you and it is really, really good and it's something you'll want to watch it, get in front of your computer or your phone and take notes because it has a whole guideline of, um, holiday schedule. And one of the biggest ones is to get your calendar out right now and you schedule everything personal you do for the holidays. Like if you have a big gathering at your house in November for Thanksgiving, or maybe you have everybody over on the Saturday or whatever you do, and then Christmas, and you take your three month calendar, October, November, December, and go ahead and map out all the stuff you do for your family. Then you can look in there and say, okay, and when am I gonna do my holiday open house? You know, if you wanna do one at your house or team up with another consultant, what am I, am I going to do Black Friday, which we're going to be talking more about that, but that is in six weeks. So, I mean, actually five weeks, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? But it's the 25th, I believe, 
Um, it's that Friday after Thanksgiving, maybe the 24th, 25th, whatever that day is. And um, decide how you're going to do that, what you're going to do, how you're going to promote it. And we will talk about that a little more. They talk about it on the gift, the holiday gift guide. I mean, the power class as well. But don't let the holiday slip up and you go, oh, that would have been a good idea to promote. Oh, it's over. Okay, so you got to start it now because if you wait till December the 10th, you can, you can sell to men. But all the women, they're about done, you know? Not me, but some women are, okay? So I want to just kind of um, remind you of that too, okay? Um, also, our um, there's National Sales Director Dawn Alton Sweeney. Some of you participated in this before, but she does these calls a few times a year, and it's called Unlocked. And she's doing one called Unlock 7.0, and it's going to start in November and it's a Saturday morning call, and you guys, it's early. I'll go ahead and tell you. <laughs> they, they have it at 7 o'clock in the morning every Saturday for, I think, six weeks. And it's really early for me, but I know, like, for all of you that are um, in the uh, other time zones, it's really, really early. It's going to be at 6 o'clock, or like Valerie, it'll be like 4 o'clock in the morning or something crazy. But it is recorded. But anyway, if you'd like to get on those, I, I think I've already put the, the flyer on the Boss Babe um boxer group but i highly recommend it and the times that she does them i'm really the most productive so i am committing to do it and so if i can get up and be on it you can too <laughs> and so it's for consultants and sales directors um and i will i will remind you guys about that don't forget to sign up for your fall retreat if you're having one in your area don't miss it it's going to be i'm sure it's going to be amazing whatever you do um just want to do a little shout out for my unit we do have a promotion um, Elizabeth Mitchell is a new senior consultant Woo! and then we also have Joanna Elizabeth and Catherine Scott got new recruits that are all gonna be doing their orders uh, in the next couple of days as well and I'm sure some of you and at the end if the directors you guys got anybody with new recruits I know you'll want to give a shout out to them as well we need a lot more than that we need lots and lots and lots of promotions <laughs> lots and lots so I know that we're gonna get that this month okay um, one more thing before I do a little training is I wanted to remind everybody that this is the season that a lot of cities do fall festivals and they do um, places where you can have booths. There's expos for women. Like I had two of my consultants this, this weekend did a booth. One was at the mall and it was like a little woman's expo at the mall. And the other one was a baby expo <laughs> and it was on a military base. Um, and so, they both, like the one, I know Catherine got over 100 names. I don't know how many, uh, Linda, Catherine Scott, and then Linda Roof got a bunch of names, her and Fran Nelson, um, over in Hinesville at the Fort Stewart. And, and they got signed up for another one that they're doing. So look around, call your chamber, look in the paper, look on Facebook, find out where the events are, where the tables are. And it might even be a table. I've seen some uh, churches do little fall festivals and they're having people set up and you make a donation to the church to have a little table. And it's a great way to get names and get your name out there. Okay. So look into that and you can team up with another consultant if you want to. Let me give you a little fair warning. You want to ask when you sign up for this, if you do that, make sure there's not another Mary Kay Beauty consultant because you don't want a table here with you and then two tables down is Suzy Q that also sells Mary Kay. That's no good, okay? So make sure you're the only one, and then when you get secure your booth, you say, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be the only Mary Kay booth you do because I, I don't do booths if there's another Mary Kay person because we, we don't compete with each other that way and make it very clear because they don't know how we work. You know, they're just thinking of it. Oh, well, it's okay, no. Okay, so that's just a little, that happened to one of my girls. So anyway, wanna mention that. Okay, so the training tonight I got from um, actually the sermon this morning at my church, and it was on, I thought, I, when I was sat there, I take notes, and I have a little book that um, I take to church, and I would suggest you guys do this. You get, you get a lot of good information at church, don't you, how to be a better Christian, and a lot of it just applies to Mary Kay, so I just had this little book, and I take my little sermon notes on it. And uh, this morning, I thought, I have got to share that with my unit. They're going to love it. <laughs> and it just fits so great, I think, with what we're trying to accomplish. And so it's from the verse, Proverbs 27, 17, which all of you have probably heard. And it's, as, um, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. 
or so one woman sharpens another, okay? Proverbs 27, 17. And, you know, we talk about this a lot about when we go to functions, iron sharpens irons, or being around sharp people sharpens you. And so I just want to talk about this a little bit and how we might could apply it to our Mary Kay week this week, okay? So um, first of all, let's just talk about how sharpening. And most of you probably have a knife thing where you have your knife and you have other knives and it has a I should have brought one in here. That would have been a good visual. <laughs> but everybody knows what, there's that one little pole thing, and you can do it, and you can just sharpen that knife, right? And we all have seen that sometimes when a knife is sharp, I mean, it's just so easy to cut stuff. And when it's dull, you know, you're having to saw it, right? Well, let's talk about how sharpening takes place. And this is from um, John Klimko is, is our minister at the Central Avenue Church of Christ, and he did such a great job on this. So, um, and then I looked a little bit up online as well. So the first one, there's three ways that sharpening um, actually takes place. Okay, first one is um, by intention, and this is by surrounding yourself with good, positive, godly people. Surrounding yourself with good people because something is going to either sharpen you or it's going to dull you. <laughs> Have y'all ever been around people that are dulling? Like you're like, okay, I need to go get sharp enough to be around them because they brought me down, right? Um, Mary Kay Ash used to have a, a thing for new consultants and she would say, what I want you to do is I want you to write down a list of the five or 10 people that you hang around the most. You know, whoever it is, write their names down. And then she'd have us go through and say, put a plus sign on after you are around them for, let's say, 10, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, if you feel better about yourself, about life, about things in general. Then go back through, and the ones that after you're around them, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even five minutes, when you leave them, you feel a little worse about yourself, about life, about the things you do. And then go back, and the ones that you just don't feel either way, I mean, they don't doesn't really motivate you, bad or good just put an equal sign. And she said, now, unless you're married to them, get rid of all the ones that aren't pluses. She said, because you do become like the five people you hang around the most. So you want to pick your friends wisely. And, you know, some people you can't help it. If you're at a job, it's negative Nancy, you know, just works right there beside you and all day long, wah, 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 complain, complain, gossip, gossip, gossip. You know, it's, you almost just have to somehow, if she's talking directly to you, let her know that you're not going to participate in it somehow, some way, right? And I've heard found just walk away, or if someone starts talking about somebody, say, oh, I love her. And they're like, well, that's not even any fun to talk about it anymore, right? So think about who you hang around. Okay, so intention, intentionally picking the people you're going to hang around. Number two is in relationship. Um, to be sharpened, you must come in contact with others. A knife cannot sharpen itself, okay? So remember that. We're going to go into that a little bit more. And then number three is with influence. Um, we also are the sharpener. We influence other people, and other people influence us. And no matter how dull a knife is, I want you to remember that it can always be sharpened. It's still a knife, even if it's dull. And as a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant or Director, I mean, we're a director. Even if we've become dull, we're not shining anymore, we're not that effective. We're still a consultant and we can be changed and we can be sharpened. So I want you to know there's hope for anybody. Even if you feel like your edge, so to speak, is gone, you can get it back. That's what I want you to know. You can definitely get it back. We've all had times in our Mary Kay business that we have not been or felt the sharpest. We're like, eh, I just feel like I'm just not on my game and one of the things I try to do, it's not happening. But you know what? It can change. So that's the main thing I want you to know, no matter where you are, it can change and you can get the, get that edge back and you can get that sharpness back. And, and this is one of the ways we're going to do it is through sharpening with each other. Okay. Um, okay. So um, when you're with sharpening, there, you do have a choice and there's four choices you can make. Okay. So number one, you could have a choice of that you just want to be alone. Leave me alone. I want to. In Mary Kay, like, I want to do my own thing. I don't need to go to the meetings. I don't need to talk to my director. Well, obviously, you're not, I'm not talking to y'all because none of y'all are like that. Or you wouldn't even be on this call and you wouldn't be even listening to the playback. But you probably have people that like that. Maybe somebody on your team. They just want to be left alone, do their own thing. And the thing about that, they are going to become dull because they can't be sharpened unless they're in contact with somebody. So, and God can't even bless them to sharpen others because they're never around anybody. Okay. But that is a choice. Okay. So number two is they can have a choice um, 
to be sharpened by others, okay? And I want to tell you something he mentioned today, and I thought, that is so good. <laughs> Have you ever had someone rub you the wrong way? Raise your hand, because I can see y'all. Somebody rub you the wrong way, and you're like, oh, that just irritates me. <laughs> they irritate me, and what she said irritates me, and it just rubs you wrong. So next time that happens, I want you to think a new thought. I want you to think, maybe God is allowing that rub to irritate me so that um, it could actually sharpen me to, so I can serve better. It's just rubbing off a little dull, getting some of my little dullness off. And, you know, two, two great, two ideas that are even in, um, two different ideas can come together and be super sharp. So sometimes when people rub you the wrong way, instead of being immediately offended, just think about it a minute and go, God is using that girl, you know, she irritates the mess out of me to make me a better person. <laughs> Somehow, some way, I'm going to be better through this. Maybe he's just sharpening your patience level. Because if your patient is never, your patience is never tried, you're not going to have, you don't have, learn to be more patient, right? You know, um, and that's the thing that helps us grow is when things like this happen. So think about that and think, you know, um, that when someone rubs you, that, you know, that may be a way for you to get sharpened. Okay. Some, something with this is also is, well, I'm going to go back to that. Okay, number three is um, with sharpening, you could be used to sharpen others. And you want to think about this, um, is you're, you're the sharpener, you're the one that's going to influence others. So you want to come to anybody that you're trying to sharpen. Uh, it is a volunteer thing, but sometimes as a leader, which most of you are, when you have recruits, okay, you may see something that they're not doing what we call the Mary Kay way, okay? They're not doing it right. And, uh, or maybe it's just you don't like the way they're doing it, okay? But let's say it's really something that they should not be doing, all right? So I'm going to give you one example. Let's say you, you recruit Mary Sue, and Mary Sue is so excited, okay? And so the first thing she does, you don't know about it, but she gets on Facebook, and she gets on Marketplace, and she says, hey, everybody, I'm in Mary Kay, and all my stock is 20% off. Because she's so excited. She just wants to get it out there. She don't know that we're not supposed to do that, right? How would she know? She's brand new, all right? And maybe it's not even your recruit. Maybe it's just a girl in your town, all right? So there's a couple ways to handle this. And I've seen it handled both ways. You can do actually destroy that new consultant by calling her up and blessing her out and say, we can't do that. You could be terminated for Mary Kay, la, 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 la. You know, until or you could blast her on Facebook. Hey, take that post off. We can't make posts like this. You know, embarrass her. All right. Or you could think about it and come to her in love and private message her and say, hey, Susie Q, you know, if it's not your person and say, I don't, you know, I don't know you, but I've been Mary Kay a long time, but um, I don't um, uh, call me about your post because I don't want you to get in trouble because there's some rules that we have and I've seen you know, people get in trouble for posting things like this, and I'll explain it to you if you give me a call. Or, you know, I would love to explain it to you because I'm sure you're new and you have no idea. And I've even done stuff like this before that I didn't know was wrong. You know, like there's a way to help people, correct people. You know, if I was doing something wrong and a national sales director came to me and said, Cleta, you know, I really like this that you did, but really it's against the company policy. You're not supposed to be doing so and so. I would be like, but if she, if she blasted me, in a public setting, it would just kill me, right? Someone that I look up to to blast me, right? So I want you to think about that. So, but maybe it's something else. Maybe your recruit, I don't even know, you know, she set up in the, you know, parking lot of Walmart with a table and tried to sell stuff, at, you know, on a table at Walmart. And we're not supposed to sell in a public place like that. <laughs> I mean, some things like that, that's just against company policy. You know, it's a way to say, hey, I'm so excited you're, you're, you are just doing so great. And you know, what a great idea to meet so many people. Let me tell you some of the guidelines when you do a booth. And then you would walk through her with that, right? So there's a way to talk to people. And okay, it could be that maybe you have a consultant that comes to the meeting and she's super negative. And she's your recruit and she's super negative and she gets up there and she winds and complains. She talks about how she has no bookings. So your first thought is to say, don't come back to the meeting. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> 
But your second thought could be to talk to her and say, oh my gosh, you know, I, I could tell by the things that you said that you're really, you know, having some struggles with your booking. Say, let's talk about it. And, you know, one of the things that we want to try to do is at the meetings, if you've got problems, talk, talk to me first as your recruiter. And then why don't we set up an appointment to talk to um, our director and let's go over some things. So that way, when you get up there, we can kind of speak what we want, not what we don't want. There's ways to do it. Now, of course, if someone said that at my meeting, you know, I would lovingly correct her <laughs> in a loving way. I would say, oh, girl, don't talk about what you don't want. Let's talk about what you do want, you know. But what I go, we don't talk like that. Leave the room now. <laughs> no, right? So there's just a way to handle stuff like that. But as you are at your sales meetings and as you are speaking in front of other people, remember that you are influencing everybody in the room. Everybody is looking at you. So make sure what's coming out of your mouth is something that would encourage other people and, um, and elevate them because we're all wanting to make each other better, right? So I just want you to kind of kind of think about that. And um, you know, I always say, if I know someone really cares about me, you know, it's just like when your own mother corrects you. Um, has there not been times, especially when you're a teenager and you're like, oh, you do the whole eye roll to your mother and you about to get slapped out. But your mother, she loves you. But as an adult, if your mother came to talk to you, whatever she said, you would listen because you know your mother loves you. You know, most of us do. And so when you come to people in love, then it's really easy to talk to them about things that they may, might want to make changes because they know you really love them. And so um, I want you to think about that, okay? Um, when you're used to, um, when you're used to sharpen others, you want to pray first and you just pray that you use the correct approach to someone because um, you the definitely thing you don't want to do is destroy your relationship and the word sharpen in the dictionary means to make glad join together grow so after you talk to someone about something you want to make sure they feel that way they're they feel you know join together that they're going to grow by your conversation and i don't know maybe somebody need to hear that today i don't know but you know the main thing we don't want to do is beat each other down we don't we have to start out in love Okay, and then number four is with sharpening. You want to ask the Lord. You want to be sharpened by the Lord first. And um, I know most of us are Christians on here. And if you're not, you know, you can talk to me and I'll give you some, you know, some information. I would love to talk to you about it. But, you know, by reading your Bible and praying, you're going to let the Lord influence you to be a better person. And as a leader, you want to, we have to pray to be a good leader because you influence more people as you go up you know, the Mary Kay path, there's going to be more people that look up to you and you have to watch what you do and what you say. And, you know, my husband and I talk a lot of times, I spew off sometime and I'll say, I'm going I'm to call her and I'm going to tell her. I never do it. You know, I never, <laughs> but I always say, he goes, don't do that. I go, I know I'm not, but I'm just saying, I'd like to just say this back to her, you know, and he's like, you're not going to do it. I go, I know. <laughs> You can't say what you, I mean, even though like you may see somebody post something and you just feel like saying something smart back and put them in their place. You can't do it. You just cannot do it. And as a leader, you just got to watch that stuff, even though you would be, even though you'd be right. And I want to also just mention about when you're posting on Facebook, you guys watch your posts, watch them because if it, if it, if it comes out in a negative twist at the end, like it's more about. I don't even want to use an example, but I've read something today and I thought, you know, I know what she's trying to say. Um, but what it's coming across is a post that's like, everybody feels sorry for me. Okay. And it's just not something that as a leader, you want to post things like that. You want to watch what you say. And sometimes you might see somebody else have posted it and it might not even apply to you and you repost and it's like people think you got something going on terrible when you did it's just something you reposted do you know what i'm saying you know you probably don't but i know what i'm thinking about which i'm not going to say because i'm a leader <laughs> but <laughs> i want y'all to watch what you post and you know try to make it positive um <clears throat> okay in mary Kay, you know we're always being sharpened by other people's and this other people and you should want this and there's a couple of ways you can do this there's one one way is one-on-one -on -one, and number two is a group setting. So the one-on-one -on -one is if you have a power partner, a power partner. This is someone who you talk to regularly and it can't be someone so high above where you are, okay? Because that would be more like a coach, 
okay? And you need both of those, really. Every pro has a coach, all right? But a power partner is someone that's about equal, you know, it could be a little bit up or down, but both have similar goals and, and both are strong enough that both are contributing to each other and they're holding each other accountable, okay? It would be like, it would be like if you were picking someone to walk with every day. You know, you have to have two people, not one that the one person is every single time going, dragging her into the gym, dragging her into the gym. It's got to be where both want to do it, but every now and then the other one says, come on, we got to do it. And you're like, all right, let's go. You know, that kind of a thing. So think about that. Who could be your power partner? You know, and it could be someone that you recruit in the business and you guys are kind of equal. You know, you're both new. Let's do it together and let's hold each other. Chad had that conversation that we're going to hold each other accountable. Because if you can't, then you, you need to pick a different power partner. Okay. And um, I have women in my life that are power partners to me that I talk to and they have similar goals and aspirations and I motivate them and they motivate me. And it's a very uplifting call. Okay. And you can have more than one, but if you have someone, I think it's important to have somebody like that. Now, if you, if it turns into a wine session, that's not the girl for you. It is not the girl for you because you, and you can't let it be that way. Because that would be one of those minuses where after you're around her, you feel worse. <laughs> I mean, you might feel better for a second because maybe she's having the same problems, but really you end up hanging up the phone and, and you feel worse. So pick your power partners carefully. Um, of course, your coach is naturally probably going to be your sales director or your national sales director or someone that you look up to in Mary Kay. I have some, um, my national retired, but I have some national sales directors that I look up to. And I know that I can, if I have a problem or if I, you know, Dawn Alton Sweeney is one that um, I feel like she's one of my coaches. You know, that's why when she has a call, I get on them. She's going to be at our fall retreat. And um, she motivates me, you know, and I feel like she's genuine. I feel like she does it the Mary Kay way. And I think she has a lot of integrity. And, you know, she's one of my coaches. And okay. And so you want to look at that too. And you want to take advice from somebody is where you want to be. Okay. The other way is to be sharpened is in group attending. Like at church, it would be going to church. Okay. And for Mary Kay, it would be like going to your sales meetings, you know, make it a habit of going to your sales meetings because when you're around fire, you're going to get hot <laughs> when you're by yourself over there in the corner, trying to figure it out by yourself. It's like a cold that was hot once. And now she's, she's cold. And like, is you know, you don't have to take a match to her to get her back hot again, <laughs> you know? And so if you go to the meetings, you're going to be sharpened by other people because you're going to have insecurities for yourself. But then you go see Susie Q up there and you're like, well, if she can do that. I'm going to do that, you know, and it's motivating. And you guys motivate me at my sales meetings. When I see y'all come up there and you've had a great week and you've done something, I'm like, that is good. And it fires me up. It makes me want to do better when I see my unit members doing so great because you can learn from your own unit members. And, um, you know, my adopted director, um, Deborah Bishop, she ended up being one of my closest friends. I have another girl that was um, in my unit and she was an adoptee and she became a sales director and now she's not even a director anymore. She's selling real estate, but she's one of my dearest friends. So you don't know, like I learned stuff from her and she learned stuff from me and we're still, connected um even though she's don't even live here anymore so you never know at the meeting you may find your new best friend <laughs> you definitely might and that's one of the beauties i think of mary Kay. so you want to participate just like you are on these calls but at the sales meetings um or even better because you can actually you know talk to each other as well and people it's encouraging to see someone else that has had a great week because it makes you know that like in your mind, you may think nobody will book a party and no one wants Mary Kay. But then Susie could get out there and sold $1,000 last week. And you're like, okay, well, there must be somebody who likes Mary Kay. <laughs> and then this other girl has got six parties on her book. Well, somebody is booking. Okay, so let me go back out there and try again, right? And so that's going to make you a better consultant. And um, I've always believed in that. And so my last thought is that a, a knife that has been sharpened it has a shine. It shines more. And so you are going to shine as a Mary Kay consultant when you let other people sharpen you, when you go to the meetings, when you get on these calls, and then you're going to sharpen others and it's going to flip around. And all of us are trying to recruit a team in Mary Kay. And as we recruit that team, we want to be that person that's going to be shining up our consultants. And we want our recruits to say, I feel when I'm around her, it motivates me. And 
Um, I feel like I'm becoming a better consultant and a better mom and a better friend, a better sister, a better daughter, you know, by being a Mary Kay. And that's what we want. We, we're not just about, you know, people being in their red jacket. We're about people being better women and better moms and better wives. And because uh, we know when mama's happy, everybody's happy, mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. So we want mama to be happy. <laughs> I want mama kitty to be happy and those little little kitties running around. <laughs> so, you know, mama cheetah wants her little cheetahs uh, and all my little adopted cheetahs to be happy. And so um, I just want y'all to think about this week. And I want you to think about you being the person that's sharpening someone else and then you allowing yourself to be sharpened, which I am preaching to the choir, and I know it is preachy tonight, but um, I'm proud of you guys because by just coming on here, and believe me, I know that I always think about, I could just go on to bed. I'm so tired, especially if you did not get a nap. I got me a good nap day. I have to, I have to admit it. I got a little Sunday nap. Um, <laughs> so I feel pretty good right now. I have some sweet tea and a nap. I'm great. Um, but by you being on here, hopefully you'll gain something out of it. And think about some things this week, how you could be a better consultant. And as we were bringing our new team members in, just love on them and tell them how much they mean to you and um, encourage them. And don't expect them to call you for encouragement. You call them for encouragement because they're new. They don't know, they don't know what they're supposed to be doing. So, um, and when they do call you, you know, pick up that phone and talk to them or, or call them right back as soon as you can because it makes a difference that they can get a hold of you and they don't feel like they're inconveniencing you. And you also want to never, never use the term, I'm sacrificing to spend time with you. You know, it's not a sacrifice. I mean, this is what we do. I mean, did you feel like it was a sacrifice when you signed them up that day? No. So it's not a sacrifice for you to work with them and spend time with them because you want them to be successful. Okay. So just watch your terminology. It's a, it's a privilege and an honor, really to work with, with grown women. And um, we're working with women that have done big things in other areas of their life. And um, we're, we're not trying to take them from zero to a hero. They're already heroes when we, when we recruit them. All they gotta do is learn a little bit of the Mary Kay lingo and how we do things. And they're gonna be off and running. So let's remember and treat our new people like the amazing women that they are. Not like little babies in diapers and their thumb in their mouth, okay? Let's don't treat them like little babies because <laughs> they're grown women, right? Most of them have already had babies. And um, so anyway, think. I just want you to think about a few things like that, okay? So um, I'm gonna just unmute the directors just kind of one by one. And um, I would like to, well, I'll, first I'm gonna unmute Rosie. Let me find her on here. And I'm gonna let her announce the winner even though I'm not sure I did, but I'm gonna let her announce the winner. And then as I meet the directors, also, if you have any um, thing you would like to shout out for your unit, there's something somebody did awesome, um, like maybe a new recruit or someone that's moved up, then we, that would be a great time to do it. So I'm gonna just start with Rosie, you are unmuted. Okay, awesome. So our winner last week was Marina Adderley. And I've already contacted her. I have her address and I'll be mailing her surprise tomorrow. Okay. okay. So congratulations, Marina. Um, and uh, as far as good news, um, I, it, this isn't like a new thing, but we had last night, I met with four of my golden girls from last month and we just had the best time. And I really didn't even have anything so much planned, but I don't know. It's just like the Holy spirit just kind of, kind of took over. And, um, it was just the best, you know, it was a dinner, but then we talked and it was just, it was just really awesome. So, um, I want to give a shout out to my, to my four golden girls, Elaine, Trista, Dolores, and Vera for just, you know, showing up and their loyalty and the three, Elaine is our newest one. And the other three just kind of, I kind of just sat back and they just kind of talked and, Coming from them, it meant so much more, I think, to Elaine than coming from me because I can, you know, do this. Um, but that was pretty cool. And um, I do have two new recruits. And they they both happen to be mine, so I'm pretty excited about that. I have one from last Sunday, and I had one yesterday. So awesome. anyway, yeah. So awesome. it's been a good week. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you, Rosie. I appreciate that. Okay, and let's see. I'm gonna unmute uh, Latrice. Hey. Okay, what I loved uh, is that you can always get your edge back and that a knife that has been sharpened has a shine. I love that. 
Um, this week we have got some great things going on. Tuesday night we are teaming up with the Delta Bells, which is a cancer awareness. It's a, it's a group of ladies that have all experienced cancer, breast cancer. And so we're doing an event with them. And then on Saturday, I'm also doing another event. So we've got big things going on this week. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lori Barfield. Hey, everyone. Um, I like Cleta said she was in hurricane mode on Wednesday. I've been in hurricane mode for several days. And very thankfully, my husband figured out how to make our generator go into our panel box. So I actually have light in my I'm office. Saying. Awesome. In a computer that's plugged in. I have no AC. And we can only run certain things at one time, but um, we are super excited about that. And um, several of the folks in my unit, um, you know, have we've not had power all week, um, have not had cell signals um, several days on end. And so I'm just so grateful that Tamara and I, I sent a message out once we could finally kind of communicate a little bit better. And it's like, okay, we need to think about something good and making people beautiful and beautiful opportunities. And so I'm just excited to be able to get back to work after such a, a scary tragedy and a lot of uncertainty in our town. And so um, it's just so great to have an opportunity that you look forward to and um, just looking forward to, to doing this, these cancer care packages and getting our strategy back for getting, you know, back on the books and things because it's really hard to know what to do when, the, when there is so much uncertainty. So we're just so thankful that none of our unit, um, you know, there's, even though there's been some damage in different areas, everyone is safe and no one is hurt. And um, so we've just got so much to be thankful for this week. And, and unfortunately, I came down sick during this as well. And doctor's offices are closed as well when they don't have utilities. So I um, learned a new thing to do an online doctor. And I, in minutes, I had a virtual doctor on my phone. It was on one of those moments that I could get a cell signal. So the Lord um, works and he, he takes care of his children. So um, anyway, it's just so good to be able to be online with everyone and have a little bit of light to do so tonight. Yes, I, I'm so glad. Well, I hope your power returned on soon, soon. My in-laws just got it on tonight. So <laughs> anyway, okay, um, Jana, you want to go next? Jana, did I unmute you? Hope I didn't delete her. All right, she went away. Okay, um, Valerie? Hi, I am just, um, I want to give a shout out to my golden girl, Deanne Trammell. Um, also, we have a big wrapping workshop, holiday workshop tomorrow night. I'm excited about it. Been preparing for it for two months. And so we're gonna have guests there and we're gonna have consultants there. Um, Angelique Talbert's um, coming from LA. Do you know who Angelique Talbert is? I don't know. She, she, this is her sweet spot is gift giving and holidays. So she's coming from LA to um, do our gift wrapping workshop tomorrow night. She does it every year. Okay. So I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Good, good, good. Okay. okay. Okay, let me see. Um, let me find Sayla on here. Okay, Sayla, I got you unmuted. Sayla? Your phone might be muted itself because I'm you're not muted on my end. Okay, I'm gonna leave you unmuted if you if you're on here still, you can say something. I'm gonna um, unmute Jana. Jana? Can you hear me? Now I can. You went away. I unmuted you before and you like disappeared. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, there's just so much excitement and electricity on this end that it just shut me down. It was just That's like, what it was. <laughs> uh, okay, so I was doing a Facebook online party. That's why I was, I, I was on late, so I apologize for that. But it was a first for me and I was really excited about that. That was lots of fun. Um, and okay, so this last week we did a breast cancer domestic violence awareness event and we um, had $300 donated. And so my unit, Rosie's unit, we had a couple of other directors that, that came, but, um, but yeah, it was, it was great because um, I just, it was so exciting. I talked to the people at the foundation and so just got that money donated to them today. 
also we're doing a, a fall advance this week with Jill Davis and uh. she is going to be there on Friday, on Friday for red jacket training, director training. I'm just excited that Mary Kay so go give. And so a big shout out to Heidi, Mandy, Dolores, Joyce, and Diana. They're attending with me and we're going to have so much thinking fun. And I've really been rocking my Mary Kay business. I'm on track for my power start plus this month and just excited working with new people. So that's it. Awesome. Thank you, Jana. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, okay. Thank you for sharing all of your wise tips on how to handle things. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome for whoever needed it. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I think Salem was, Sayla, are you on? Okay, I don't see your number. Let's see Lindy or Janet right now. So anyway, um, I just want to thank you guys all for um, calling in tonight. We're going to go ahead in the call and I'll repost. But um, you guys have a great week and uh, be intentional this week about who you hang around with and be intentional about um, maxing out your double credit. And by the way, Golden Girl just means that you have sold, that you ordered $1,000 in a month. And so we have a bunch of Golden Girls in our unit. I just love, love seeing that. Um, if you will, I think it's back to my turn. I'm not positive, but I'll take it. Um, so tonight, anyone, after you listen to the um, this message, um, what I'd like you to do is... Um, I want you to do this. I want you to reply on Boxer and just say, I will sharpen my skills. We're gonna, sh we're gonna sharpen each other, but just say, I will sharpen my skills by, and however you're gonna sharpen yourself this week. You can come up with it. I um, can give you suggestions, but I think you're smart enough to figure out what could sharpen you this week with your business, okay? So if you will just reply there, and then I'll give it a couple of days, and then I'll draw a winner for next week, okay? And you guys have an amazing week. Um, I'm praying for good weather all over the United States of America. <laughs> okay. Have a great one. And thank y'all for calling in.